This is Bumper to Bumper TV. I mean, for me, um, a very good solution is uh, to have more natural hatching. For example, you have to increase your production capacity in the United States. And of course, you have to buy more components in the United States. And uh, if you do so, you will be able to handle the situation. And of course, you have the tool of financial hatching as well. And so, uh, how would you describe the, the best kind of way to, 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 to approach that? Um, I mean, you, you, have, you need always one pillar is not good enough. You need always more than one pillar. Uh, for us, it's financial hedging and, and natural hedging. These two pillars. And in the past, let me say, in the last 10 years, we were always, always able to handle the situation in a very good manner. I mean, if you see our umbrella, uh, two words for our umbrella, it's efficient dynamics. I mean, our cars are known, they are dynamic, but in the future they have to be efficient as well from a fuel economy uh, uh, point of view coming. And uh, what we have done, we introduced a, a couple of measures, for example, very efficient diesel and uh, gasoline engines, um, for example, lightweight uh, construction, um, energy management, things like that. And all these things together, we were able to reduce fuel consumption, really, I would like to highlight drastically. From your perspective, is it better to consider diesel or a hybrid technology for vehicles, or are you going to do both dances? I mean, it's a very good question, because for me, diesel is a competitor to hybrid. And I think we have to play it uh, in, in such a way. We have to say diesel is a competitor to hybrid. Of course, we will do hybrid as well. But at the moment, we have a technology is from a, from a um, fuel consumption point of view a very good one and no additional weight for the car. I mean, if I see it uh, worldwide, then I have to say um, the luxury, luxury segment mm -hmm. of, the, of the car uh, industry uh, will grow double as fast as the mass market worldwide. That is what independent sources tell us, so and it's very good for us. And uh, if you see, for example, the BMW Group was able to sell in the year 2007 more than 1,000 1, Rolls Royces. I mean, it's a signal that we are definitely on the right track. No, we, uh, what we see at the moment, we need more crossover products. For example, the BMW X6 is a very good example for me. And uh, of course, a very good example is behind me, the one series convertible. And, uh, and we will have more and more as a trend to, to crossover products, but it's different. Uh, if you're in Asia, sedans are still very popular. Uh, if you're in Europe, crossover products are coming more and more. If you are in the United States, crossover products are coming more and more as well. But in Asia, for example, sedans are still the right products. For example, we need young buyers for the BMW brand and uh, they have to buy into the brand and for us it's very important to have a one series coupe and a one series convertible because these products are especially for young BMW customers. Get them in early and just keep them Yes, of course. Well, that was my last question. Oh, thank you. I appreciated your time.